We're looking into that problem right now. I've had somebody just come into my office and I'll get back with you on it. Mr. Blankship, John Anello, DB Chemicals. Glad to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Our company just received a new chemical, and it's the best product on the market for removing paint, solvent, grease, and other similar substances. Not only that, but it's environmentally friendly, biodegradable, and can be flushed down the drain. The product meets all specifications of OSHA, EPA, and the DOT. It's been recommended by everyone who uses it, and it really works. It meets OSHA, EPA, and DOT specifications? Absolutely. Great. We'll give it a try, but I don't want to buy anything until I know it works. Okay, what I'll do is I'll leave you this container, and you can find out how good of a product it really is. Okay. I'll call you and let you know. Okay, well, thank you for your time. Thank you. We're having a lot of problems with the solvents and the other substances we're using on the units, and the paint is not bonding. We just received a new product, and it's approved by OSHA and EPA. Won't you go out and give it a try and let me know how it works? Okay, we'll try to see how it works. What happened? The man was overcome by fumes or gas of some sort. Do you have any material safety data sheets? No, I don't. It's a new chemical product, and I don't even have the MSDS. In this instance, something went wrong. What happened? Why did this painter use a chemical that created a hazardous incident? Apparently, the new chemical was not used or handled properly. Let's go back to the beginning and find out what should have occurred. I'm glad you brought that to our attention. I'll have the maintenance department get right on it. Thank you for calling. Mr. Blackship, John Anello, DB Chemicals. Glad to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Our company just received a new chemical, and it's the best product on the market for removing paint, solvent, grease, and other similar substances. Not only that, but it's environmentally friendly, biodegradable, and can be flushed down the drain. The product meets all specifications of OSHA, EPA, and the DOT. It's been recommended by everyone who uses it, and it really works. That's great, but let me look at the material safety data sheet to make sure it's safe for our operations. This is perhaps the most important function of management, and that's to make sure any new chemical introduced into the company is safe to use. The material safety data sheet provides technical information about the chemical, special precautions to take, and other safety information that's needed to properly use handle, store, and dispose of the chemical. Now, this product will do the job, but keep in mind the MSDS indicates that it's not to be used in a hot environment. You see, if it's exposed to heat, it could give off a toxic vapor that could be life-threatening. I saw that in the reactivity section, and that's really good to know because when we clean our paint stills, it's a hot process. The next thing that occurs is providing a training session to the people who will be using this product. They need to know what the chemical is, how it works, and under what conditions it could be hazardous. Training is extremely important, and everyone using the chemical must be properly trained. We learned in the first scenario that introducing a chemical into the workplace without an MSDS can be dangerous. The painter using the chemical had no training or warning that the chemical would react with heat and give off a toxic vapor. Additionally, in case of an emergency, medical personnel need to review the MSDS to determine the best method of treatment for overexposure. The second scenario demonstrated the proper method. Although the salesperson stated it met certain specifications, that's no guarantee that it's safe to use under all conditions. Every chemical has different criteria, but it's management's responsibility to make sure the material safety data sheet is read and understood by all employees. Anyone working with a chemical must be trained and fully understand the specifications of the chemical.